Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. It's Butthead again. <laughs> uh, so like, today I'm gonna be teaching like, the basics of the cad... What is that? Cadged... Sci... Sci... Stem... <laughs> Whatever it is. So like, yeah. Uh, so basically what it is, is like, you can use the shapes of like the C chord, A, G, E, and D. Those chords, like if you knew the shapes of those, and you knew where like the root note is, you can like do those shapes and do the chord. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Or maybe not, I don't know. But um, yeah, so... I'll teach you, like, the basics of it, so, like, let's begin. <laughs> yeah, so, like, let me show you, like, the C major chord, but, like, in the C, A, G, E, and D shapes down the fretboard. And then I'll show you, like, other examples of how to use this. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, so, like, the C... Of course is the C shape and this will be the C chord anyways third fret a second fret D open G and like first fret B so like the notes of the chord are C E G now in this in this example like the G is kind of open so it kind of sucks as an example but when I go to like the next, the other shapes, it'll make sense. But yeah, so like this is the shape of the C. I'll go back and show you other shapes of the C later. <laughs> so like if you wanted to do the A shape, but also the C major chord, you would find the root on the A, which just so happens to be the same. And then you know the A shape is like... Basically, like, barring the D, G, and B strings. So, like, the root is on the, the A, third fret. And then, like, the fifth fret of the next three strings makes the A shape of the C chord. <laughs> so, like, if you think of the system, C, A, G, E, D, caged system... <laughs> the next one will be the G shape. Like, a G would be like 3rd fret low E, 2nd fret A, and then like open D, and then open G. So like, and then if you want to fill it out, you would hit like the 3rd uh, fret of the B. Now, with the cage system, you kind of... The point would be to find the root on the low E, because, like, you know, the root is on the low E when you do a G. <laughs> so, uh, the root would be on the 8th fret if you were doing a C chord. So, like, you do the shape, moving it up, with these two fingers, like, 8th fret low E, and 7th fret A, which would be, like, C, E, but you need the G to make the chord. So the G would be here on the 5th fret of the D, but also, like, to add another um, C, you can have the 5th fret of the G, uh, G string, and then also the G note would be on the 8th fret of the B. <laughs> like, as you can tell, when I get confused, like, in the moment, I lose the accent. I mean, the impression. I mean, wait, I'm butthead. <laughs> so, like, yeah. So it would be the same shape. The open would be on the fifth fret. So, like, yeah. Basically, like, this. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the G shape of the cage system. 
Okay, so next would be the E shape, which of course, if an E chord is like this, and like basically if you know a bar chord, it's like a major bar chord, let's, let's just face it with the root and the E, like that's the shape, so you don't really have to learn anything as long as you know a bar chord, just like how the A shape is just a bar chord, but with the root on the A string. So let's just skip over the E, it's the easy way, like if you were going to do a bar chord, it's the root on the E, which is at the 8th fret, and then 10th fret A, 10th fret uh, D, and then like 9th fret G, Ugh. and then the, like, the bar, the, the, the bar, it's, it's just like, these lessons are not supposed to be informative at all. It's like you're gonna like maybe pick out one thing and you might like it it might help probably not so uh what's last is the d of the caged system <laughs> so what the d shape is of course over here is second fret g third fret b and second fret uh e high e now, the key to this shape is the root is in the middle. Like if this was a D chord, the root, the D, is on the B string. So anywhere you move this, the root is on the B string. So if you were going to end, like how the C shape was here, A shape here, G shape here, E shape here, you're gonna go moving up forward because like you're looking for the root on the B, which is here. <laughs> so like the 12th fret of the G, the 13th fret, which is the root of the B, and then the 12th fret of the E. And then like in a D chord, of course, the open D, so you could find the root on the D, just to add like a string, which would be the 10th fret on the D, which would be the root, and then that's also a C. <laughs> that's the C. So that like the open of a D would be open, and then the root on the D is the C, which I was showing you the C major chords with that shape. It's kind of like a hassle you have to like do like a weird shape so so like you know like the cage system is more like to help with solos and like help to you so you know like the notes of the chord all over the fretboard because like if you're playing like a progression and you want to do a solo over it it would be like oh i know if that's the shape i know where all the notes are in the chord so that'll help like that. using those other than of course like the A, because it's a bar chord, and then the E shape is a bar chord, so like you use those a lot. And then like the D shape you can kind of use. The C, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think the C and G shapes are used that much for actual chords. Like, yeah, like that's kind of like stupid. <laughs> I mean, people probably, if people say this, they'll probably be like, I use it all the time. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like just to show like another example of the C shape, since I did the C chord as the example, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing. Like, if you were going to slide this up, it's kind of like the G shape, how it's kind of stupid to do, like, the full chord, because you're going to have to bar, you're going to have to do a weird shape. You would have to do, like, say, like, if you wanted to do D, D major in the C shape. You would have to put your pinky on the fifth fret of the uh, A, your ring finger on the fourth fret of the D and then you would kind of have to do like your index finger on the second fret of the G and then like your middle finger I mean your, yeah your middle finger on the third fret of the B that's why that shape sucks but that is the C shape like if you put that over here it would be like the same thing and then like the open would be, that's why you have to fret the G string. 
because like to make the full chord but like I said like it's mainly for like solos and stuff so you know like like you know where the the actual notes of the chord are because of the shape but yeah the C and G shapes like I said earlier like are kind of stupid to use as the full thing so you wouldn't actually have to do that like <laughs> mainly the A and the E and the D that's what I would say it was just to show you the shapes uh yeah so like as usual these lessons are like stupid and like butthead doesn't know what he's talking about so like you're gonna probably if you ever watch this and see like he doesn't know what he's talking about yeah butthead doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> so that's the point <laughs> if you do like anything like like the video at all please subscribe and hit the like button until next time see you later Ooh.